Some say they view their 20s as a dressing room opposed to a waiting room. And while I agree, I view my life currently as a busy crosswalk. There's a lot to work through to safely get to the other side, but instead of spending all of my time waiting for the traffic to clear, which will allow me to cross, I'm enjoying life on this side of the street. There's a lot to do, there's a lot to see, and before I know it, it'll all be a memory and I'll be on the other side. Let's just make up together. I'm gonna follow these TikTok trends so you don't have to. The first one is foundation in water. I'm gonna squeeze some of this foundation serum into the water, but it's silicone based. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. So here is the foundation serum in the water. Okay. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really nervous. I'm actually not gonna blend it in with um, the brush itself because it is drenched, but I am going to press it in with my body blender. I feel like I use a little too much. Yeah, I try not to use this much foundation <laughs> these days. So, okay. I'm not sure if that one was a fail. Okay, so lifting concealer, that's the next one. So we're going to apply that there and there. And then we're going to apply a little bit right here to lift the face. Ooh, I feel like that gives a nice little lift. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like it's coming together. The next trend is doing a higher um, bronzer contour placement. So they're placing it like right here, which is pretty high, but we're going with it. I'm gonna go in with my same body blender, but I'm gonna turn it on this side to really blend that out. And then I'm gonna do that trend where they do press powder and then bake with a powder puff. Get underneath that eye and then get in this area over here to make sure that the powders are lifting. I'm gonna take a more neutral powder and put that in my smile lines. I'm gonna use a little bit of a pink powder in my powder puff and you just like really press that powder puff on your hand to just wake it up and evenly disperse the powder so you're not putting you know a crap ton of powder underneath. This goes on my forehead. Ooh, we're looking really good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more under my eyes because I just do not want my under eyes to crease. I'm going to try this, y'all. I'm gonna try this. This is the Lash Curler Eyeshadow. I'm gonna take my Lash Curler and my bronzer shade and I'm just going to place my Lash Curler like right here and then apply my bronzer shade. Okay, that's not too shabby. Now what I'm gonna do is add some bronzer. I'm gonna take that same bronzer shade. Ooh, hello nose contour, period. I'm going to add the tiniest bit of mascara. I'm taking a break from lash extensions to give my natural lashes a break, but I still want that lash extension look at home without having to apply and remove and apply and remove falsies every single time. So this is where the IMVB Luxe Extended Lash Collection comes in. It's basically just a DIY salon lash extension application at home. So this is what I am using. These are VEK01, that's what it says at the top of the packaging. And these just look a little bit wispier than the other set that I have, which is VEK02. So I'm going to use the wispier of the two. This is what it looks like out of the packaging. You have the lashes, and then you have the bond and seal, and you have the lash applicator. So this is what we're going to be using. Now we're much closer. I feel better acquainted this way anyway. I'm going to have the applicator on hand. So here's the applicator, here are the lashes. It's in arm's reach. I'm going to brush on this bond. So this side is bond, 
this side is seal i'm going to brush on the bond side which is just like a mascara wand you want to brush it onto your lashes bond is infused with biotin it's non-damaging and it primes your natural lashes to prep them for the extended clusters but you do not have to brush it on like the entirety of your lashes you can stay pretty close to your lash line now that that's applied i'm going to work from the outer corner inward and i'm going to apply the lashes underneath when you're applying the lashes underneath, you want to make sure you're applying them right next to each other. As you're applying them, you really shouldn't feel anything. It should just apply very seamlessly. I'm going to use the seal now that I've applied the lashes. And that also looks like a mascara wand. And I'm just going to seal right where the lashes and my lashes and then the seal is formulated with nourishing vitamin e and it removes any tacky residue and it locks in the extended cluster for all day wear and now we'll move on to the other side but this is the before and this is the after left-handed so of course this side is easier for me I feel like at this point I'm like breezing through and I like to take the applicator and press the lashes last but not least I'm going to take the seal and I'm going to apply this where my lashes and the extended clusters connect. I'm adding shadow underneath my eyes. The other trend is W blush. I didn't add my cream blush beforehand, so let me find my blush palette. Okay, here's my blush palette. I'm going to apply my blush in a W shape. So like this and this. Oh, this is kind of cute. I kind of like it. Okay. The last trend is a zero shape lip liner. So I'm going to use my lip liner and my mm, 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 have some lip products on. So I'm going to try not to overline my lips too much. Okay. In the shape of a zero. <laughs> then I'm going to add a couple lip glosses. This is like a deeper pink and then top it off with the lighter pink. Now that the makeup look is complete, there's one last step. That is the overnighter. So if you open this up, it looks like liquid liner. And you very carefully, very gently apply this where your lashes and the extended clusters meet. And this will extend the wear. I like to be very careful and very gentle with this product. Okay, last little, oh, wrong way yeah so i like that i can't feel the lashes at all like the clusters feel so natural literally like my natural lashes they are extremely lightweight i genuinely like can't see them i can't feel them when i'm blinking super duper comfortable and i love like the flare that it gives this is very similar to um like a lash extension style that i would get or a strip lash that i would wear so the fact that it's like underneath my lash line just makes it look that much more natural and it was just super easy to apply that's just number one i'm absolutely going to be using this method to apply my lashes and extend the wear of them right here at home while I'm taking a break from my lash extension. And this will be super helpful during the work week because I just really don't like how much time it takes to like apply lashes while I'm doing a makeup routine, you know, if I'm wearing makeup to work and if I'm not wearing makeup to work, it's nice to just have these lashes on already. You can't lose there. This is a win 
win-win situation with the bond and the seal and the overnighter. Win, win, win. But right now, we're gonna run and go get some food because um, I've worked up an appetite trying these TikTok trends. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'll be trying any of these TikTok trends. From the trends that I've tried, I would say the foundation in water it wears really well. Of course, I'll have to do like a wear test, but so far, so good. I'll use a little less next time, obviously, a little less. And then um, I like the lifting concealer. I actually like the W blush. That's, I think, one of my favorites. My favorite is obviously the lashes. I just think they were super easy to apply, especially when I got to this eye. I just kind of breezed through that. That was really, really, really easy. Once you brush the bond on, applying the lashes with the applicator and then going in and sealing it considering it's a mascara wand-esque style makes it really easy and then um i'm not sure how i felt about the zero shape lip liner i might have to try that again i might have to try that again but yeah i like the look overall i think i look pretty um radiant if i do say so myself so let's go get some food though I'm starving Trader Joe's my first stop was the wine I want to try this moon X I heard about it on TikTok I got this one and this one so I'm using notion for my grocery list and this is everything that I'm getting from Trader Joe's while I'm here so if you ever wanted to get notion download it it's free I just changed into this outfit. Can you see my Uggs? Got my Uggs on now so um, I can take my cart to go get my groceries out of my car. So let me go do that now so then we can unpack the groceries and then start to like unwind and put the house to sleep. Cause right now it's seven and I wanna be in the bed by like 8.30, preferably before nine, but my makeup and my lashes holding up really strong. So, 
Let me go get my groceries. So I'm done um, putting my groceries up. I'm missing 12 items from my grocery pickup order, which is frustrating because I was just there. So now I have to call them back. Yes, I was calling because I'm missing 12 items from my order. So perhaps there was a bag or two left behind. Okay, let me sign in and go through it. Um, it was dry stuff. It was a splashless, splashless bleach, Parisa, minute jasmine rice, on the border tortilla chips, chipotle peppers. Okay, yeah, of course. Yes, is it possible to pick it up tomorrow? And then another quick question, do you remember how many bags there were? Yeah, that means I didn't get it at all because I only got four bags and then two paper towels, two things of paper towels. Okay, then I, I think that one is what's missing. So, um, do you want me to list out every item that's missing? Because I would hate for you to like pack items that I already have. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So, I think we've got that settled. Nonetheless, she said I can go pick it up tomorrow. Usually, grocery pickup has a little, a few kinks in it, but I prefer grocery pickup over going to the store, walking through the aisles, and just vibing out because I have little to no self-control. This way I get to make a very precise, exact list. And we're good. Let's go ahead and end the vlog here. And then we will we'll pick up another time.